Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Feel It Real Fun. My name is Mr. 2020, we're going to share this with some groups, and this is a uh, special chat edition today. Uh, let's share this here too, what the hell. So, Pure Novel Goddard, bum, 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 bum. I hope you're having a lovely day. Sonia, hey, how you doing? Chris, how are you today? So uh, today, Victoria's out with Yasmin Maxwell doing a girly walk thing. I have no idea. Uh, I've been up since 3 o'clock in the morning doing the Traffic and Conversion Summit, Gary. Otherwise known as Gaza. Laurel, hey, I know where you are, generally speaking. I don't know exactly where you are, but uh, cool. So, Andres, Anya, hey. So, uh, God, today's a special... God, this is just one of those days that's a tearjerker for me almost. Because, uh, hey, buddy, <laughs> you enjoying yourself? So Laurel went to the Traffic and Conversion Summit. That's what I've been attending virtually since uh, 3 in the morning here. Actually, 3.30, something like that. But uh, i got to tell you, I am very proud to be a marketer. And I'm happy to be a marketer, proud to be a marketer proud and happy to be a man and there's a reason why I'm diving into that right now today with you guys one of the things that I notice is uh, people aren't comfortable or proud of who and what they are by the way you imagined uh, being a guy or being a girl and uh, you got to be one right your imagining didn't start when you learned Neville your imagining started before you had a body and so you imagine something that put you here in a particular meat suit, male or female, uh, with particular orientations, desires. I desire to make a difference in the world. And I, I want you to just notice where this goes today, because there's some real gold here. Uh, Neville talks about your concept of self. Before being born, I imagined something that had me come in and have a, have a boy body, right? Hi, Bruce. Brian, nice to see you. Uh, somewhere along the way, I discovered this thing called marketing, and I got to tell you, I'm I'm hyper happy, proud to be a marketer because here's the thing. I'll start with there with this chunk size. It doesn't matter how good your message is or how good your product is. If nobody knows it exists, uh, you're broke and you don't get to bless the world. And when I fell in love with marketing, it was because I wanted people to. Uh, to learn some things, to discover some things. And I realized, uh, I was studying Dan Kennedy at the time, and Dan said, the best person to market you is you. And just plain and simple. I mean, you can go hire an agency or something, but uh, you know, they don't know you. They don't have your passion. And in today's world, in today's technology, uh, part of what I want to just share with you today is this. You know, I, I know a lot of you guys want to be authors, coaches, business people. And I'm going to suggest you explore the world of marketing and get comfortable with that and get really comfortable with who you are in business, who you could be as a marketer. Uh, I want you to become comfortable with the sex that you are. And that the two may not sound connected, but to me they're intimately connected because most men I know are not happy that they're men. They don't, they don't, they don't celebrate their masculinity and probably most of the women that I know that I meet are the same. They are awkward with who and what they are. And uh, God, I got to tell you, from, from a guy's perspective, to me, there's nothing more beautiful in, in the world than a woman. And being able to admit that, to express that, uh, can only come from a place of me being comfortable as a guy. And to me, this is stuff that you really... If you want to be happy here on Earth, quote unquote, you know, with your meat suit, <laughs> hi Yusha, uh, get comfortable with who and what you are, physically, who and what you are with what you do, how you serve. Uh, I serve as a teacher. I serve as a marketer, and in, and in a way, that's all what it really comes down to. It's not if if you're doing something for money, uh, that's slavery, you know. On the other hand, if you're doing something for impact, and if you are doing it with the right systems in place, you're going to make a decent living and make a decent difference in the world. 
So, there's my little ramble there. Uh, I'm on break right now. Laurel, if you can give me a heads up or somebody let me know when it's getting close to the top of the hour because I want to get in for the next session here. But uh, questions, comments, thoughts, I'd love to uh, dive into those while I'm just sitting here taking a break with you guys. And while Victoria's out on her girly walk thing, so on and so forth. <laughs> I guess that's about it. We got 14 people waffling. <laughs> ah, God, I'm really enjoying today. This is, these are probably my three or four favorite days of the year, to be honest with you, because I get to just learn things that uh, benefit what I do, help me be more effective. It's almost like hanging out with people just like me. Laurel says I got 10 minutes. Cool, thank you. Uh, somebody said, who was that? Andreas, what way should we celebrate our masculinity? Uh, yes, I am missing someone special. <laughs> cool. You know, just, uh, you guys get how much I love and appreciate my wife. And, you know, when, when I look at a lot of men, they are not comfortable with expressing their appreciation of the feminine. And I don't know if there's any way for you to fully ex experience masculine without appreciation of the feminine. And, uh, and that can happen in a lot of different ways, but the most obvious way uh, is like that. And again, this is the same with a gay couple, uh, whether it's two guys or two girls. I watched two lovely girls the other day. Victoria and I were at the jazz festival, and these girls were almost all over each other. And one was more masculine, one was more feminine. But God, it was just, it was gorgeous just watching these two just sit there and uh, that dance between the masculine and the feminine. And what I notice is if you're not comfortable, remember, you imagine something that gave you a boy suit or a girl suit. <laughs> so if you imagine something that gave you a boy suit or a girl suit, why not be happy with it? Why stop imagining stuff that makes you uncomfortable with it. You get it? And if you're uncomfortable with, you know, yeah, you know I'll just approach it from the masculine side because that's my primary, even though I'm probably a very effeminate kind of guy, uh, in a way. Uh, yeah, God, yeah, it, it's it's like when I, when I see a woman who is comfortable being a woman, uh, that it's gorgeous. And, and, and that's the thing because, and it's like when I see Victoria in the garden or yoga thing or whatever uh, and she's exploring and experience her feminineness and I am not threatened by that I am I am uh, brought to life by that so uh, that's important Anya says do I ever fight with Victoria do we have discussions of course uh, we, yeah it's funny because we can definitely have disagreements about things but but you know there's a couple things which I think are really important and that is reopening up to each other. You know, if, if you're staying at the same safe distance, here's one of the things that I notice. Uh, sex is getting closer, further, closer, further, closer, further, in and out. Not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. Uh, it's, it's important that if you're just becoming a homogenized couple, that's like brother-sister. And uh, that just takes it, the whole spice out of the relationship. Uh, on the other hand, if you have that long-term friendship with your partner, uh, but you also have that spicy side where there can be uh, difference, where there can be disagreement, uh, that's where you can dance. and. Again, you need that. You absolutely need that. So, yeah, how's that so far? Lona, welcome to the show. I'm going to switch gears back to occupation for a moment. Because, uh, again, to me, these, these are both mirrors of each other. I, I'm happy, I'm proud, I love being a guy. I'm happy, I'm proud, I love being a marketer. And it's funny because so many people... They, you know, even people that I know that are going to school for marketing or advertising, they cringe when they say it. And I may have even done that at some point. 
But here's the whole thing. If you honestly believe in what you do or what you want to sell or, or whatever it is, uh, you're the best person to get it out there. And if you're not learning how to do that and not doing that, it's like desiring to dance with the girl and never asking her to dance. You know, that, that's, that's a big thing. If I, if I could say today's show is a little bit of a message, it would be just remember, you imagine something that gave you the, the sex that you are. Celebrate it. Don't imagine shit that holds it back. And if you've got a desire to do something, uh, like I said, I love impact. That's probably my, my biggest thing is impact. Uh, I want to... Uh, I want the message that I have, the essence that I live by, to uh, to give massively to the world, and and it does. And I'm still focused on having ten times that you know, impact and effectiveness. So there you go. Stop imagining what keeps you uncomfortable in your own skin. Stop imagining what uh, makes you uncomfortable with your life. Uh, what if you lived from a message or a truth or a core value that you couldn't help but share with the world? So let me toss that out today. So if you want to do any homework, uh, go to freenevel.com or nevelgoddardquotes.com. Search there for uh, self-concept or concept of self. Both of those should give you some gold. And uh, that's it. Imagine lovingly. Have some fun. And uh, I'm going to head back inside. Should be about that time. Visit us at freenevel.com. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's a great way to get out of your own way and also discover exactly what you are giving life to. And uh, you waiting for you to see us. I'm going to see you guys, I guess. <laughs> are you going to walk past? Cool. <laughs> waiting for you to see us. Cool. What time do you guys finish up today? Leave me a note. Tanya, 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 like lasagna. And we've got a live call coming up this Sunday. Yasmin Maxwell was, what were you, two or three? I think you were two, maybe three, that registered. So Grant was first. I think you were second. Tim was third. And I think uh, we're up to about seven now. So a live call on Sunday. And uh, that's it. Uh, visit us at freenevel.com. See ya.